what voltage should you be running in your electric scooter? And what's really the best voltage for you? I'm gonna give you some data, give you some tips to help you find out which voltage you should be buying. And also which one I prefer if you care at the end of the video. So all this is based on my own data uh, that I have collected over the last four years on electric scooters. And so it's very consistent data. So hopefully this helps you out. So I'm only comparing 36 to 60 volt scooters. Um, that's where I have enough data to really show something I think is pretty cool. As you can see, acceleration wise, it kind of breaks down like you would think, right? Those lower voltage, slower acceleration, that just makes sense. Uh, braking, it's kind of interesting to note that the braking also is shorter with the higher voltage. And what I think that is due to is a lot of times when you jump up in voltage, you also start jumping up into having dual brakes and those kind of things too. So you actually have more kind of braking performance as you go up in voltage. I don't think it's really related to the voltage itself. Um, and the hill climb, uh, what I find interesting with the hill climb, it follows the same trend, right? As you go for, you know, higher voltage, you get up the hill faster. Now, what I think is interesting is that that percentage increase as you jump up in voltage starts to become smaller and smaller as you go up. Same way with acceleration. I find those two trends interesting. And then for me, probably the most interesting is efficiency. And this is what I've really seen a lot um, doing range testing on scooters as the lower voltage scooters are much more efficient. So they're using less battery, so fewer watt hours per mile. That's what the efficiency chart is here. So more watt hours per mile, basically the thirstier the scooter is. And it kind of follows the same trends as gas powered cars as far as gas mileage, right? That also, that trend isn't also as stark as you might think. Like it doesn't like, it's not like, whoom, man, as you go up. What's this data telling you? So this data is telling you that depending on what you value in your scooter, that can help you decide on the voltage. Um, if you're somebody that values lightweight, um, you don't necessarily need to ride that fast and you wanna go some small to moderate distances, a 36 volt scooter can do a lot of stuff for you. A uh, 48 volt can be a really happy medium. You tend to start getting a little heavier scooter. Um, 48 volts, you start even with the lower, you know, 500 watt motors, you start getting pretty good performance. 52 volts, I think 52 volts might be the sweet spot, at least for me personally, um, where you get good performance and you also are getting good efficiency and range. 60 volt scooters, I mean, they are fast scooters. So, I mean, I've compared a number of 60 volt scooters and there's some variability, but all of them really starts to become like traction is hard to maintain at a certain point on different surfaces. But when you go to 72, 84, 100 volts, you know, in different types of PEVs, then, then you're just, it's a whole different category. You're, you're really probably, a, maybe not a fanatic, eh, you can be a fanatic, but you're probably really into what you're doing at those voltages. So you really know, I'm a scooter guy, I'm a EUC guy, you know, I'm a Surron guy, whatever, you're, whatever you kind of guy you want to be, you, you probably fall into one of those other voltage categories that are kind of the, the extreme voltage, like 72 volts is up, that's you guys are in extreme land. Because the voltage is basically the pushing force, the oomph, and you're just getting more oomph. Um, now, one thing I would say, each of these things that I talked about, if you're a much heavier rider, or you're, maybe you're living in a very hilly area, kind of bump everything up, right? Um, if you're really in here at hilly area, I'd really recommend starting looking at 48 volts. Uh, you're, you just need that lump. You just need the pushing force. I wouldn't even bother with 36 volt scooters if you're doing a lot of hills. And if you're a heavier rider and got a lot of hills, go with the dual motors. Um, there's just some jumps that I, th I just think it makes sense to do. Anyway, hope this helps clear up a little bit about voltage. If you have questions, whatever, please fire them down below. Um, thanks for watching.